Yo, what is going on, guys? I am back. We're back. All right. I know it's been a while. Took a hiatus, and uh, we're back to making videos, regular content. All right. Don't forget to subscribe. You already know what's good. So today, we're going to just, very simple, we're going to make a martini. All right. But this recipe, well, no, you know, this, what I'm using here, I think, makes for the best martini that, you know, I personally, that I've ever had, and I think you will enjoy it as well all right uh very simple uh, i actually never used to drink martinis a lot but i had a bad experience once i think the first time i had one uh i was at a bar it was a shitty hotel bar and uh you know, they didn't really even have bartender on on deck so some one of the i guess one of the bellboys came and just whipped up uh it tasted terrible so that turned me off from martinis uh for for a long time but you know after watching youtube and just you know, doing more research on on this stuff you know, I, you know I i figured if i could get some good high quality ingredients i could probably recreate or i could probably make something uh that i would actually enjoy drinking and uh i'm a little older now so this kind of this kind of thing you know this martini it's not too sweet it's not too I think it's a very grown-up uh, kind of taste. So let's get right to it. All right. Basically, you're just gonna need three things. Uh, of course, gin, right? Uh, dry vermouth and orange bitters. So uh, of course, I decided to go with Beef Eater 24. Uh, this is a little bit. This is sort of like the is a step above the uh, the basic Beef Eater. Uh, this actually this caught my attention because I saw that this includes uh, Japanese and Chinese tea so I wanted to see how that was gonna uh, change the flavor profile make it even cleaner tasting smoother uh, normally I don't really uh, I don't really drink gin that much uh, I'm not really a gin drinker I like dark liquor I like I like my whiskey my bourbon cognac all right so that's the gin uh, very simple uh, dry vermouth this is something that was completely foreign to me uh, I don't think no, I mean, no one really even drinks vermouth just like by itself. Uh, this, the first time, you know, I figured it would just taste like white wine and yeah, it smells kind of tastes like white wine, just a little bit stronger. This is 18% uh, 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 ABV and the gin is actually, this is actually 45% ABV. So a little bit above the usual 80 proof, 40%, right? And then just the orange bitters, this is just your normal uh, Angostura bitters. So uh, let's get right down to making this martini all right guys we're back uh got some ice put some ice in my mixing glass and let's set these to just aside for now uh well not I'm gonna fucking i'm about to pour some of this shit so anyways yeah uh ratios right every you know, it's really up to your personal taste uh i think the standard recipe for regular dry martini just calls for i think like four to one uh, four to one gin to vermouth or even six to one but you know i personally i like to go two to one so i like the a little bit more of the vermouth taste because i think it just brings out i mean otherwise you're just drinking straight up gin like i, I want to taste like the, all the ingredients so i'm gonna hit this all right i'm gonna start i'm gonna hit this with a two ounce pour of gin there we go. All right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nice. Okay. Two ounces of gin, and then, oh, that smells really nice. This Beef Eater 24, I think, is really. That's one of the. It's one of the cleanest tasting gins that I've ever had. I think. Uh, and then we got this. Uh, oh yeah, I, I didn't introduce this brand earlier. Noily Pratt. It's from France. Or Nochli Pratt. Nochli Nach. Uh, anyways, so, <laughs> let's uh, hit this with one ounce. One ounce of uh, dry vermouth. Ah, uh, okay, okay, okay. Yep, and then you're pretty much. Oh yeah, last, last but not least, almost forgot. We're gonna hit this. Uh, either one or two, one or two dashes of uh, orange bitters, Angostura orange bitters. So I'm gonna hit it with, yeah, two, two dashes. I like to taste my ingredients, as I said. And then, yeah, that's pretty much it. You're just gonna hit this with a nice stir for about 30 to 40 seconds. Stir, 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 stir that shit. 
know what I mean? All right, uh, ooh, I gotta get a sh I gotta get a sh All right, I got my strainer. You know, I could technically just scoop out the ice cubes with my bar spoon, but that would be blasphemy. So let's just hit it. Oh yeah, so yeah, pour it, strain it. Basically, you're just gonna strain this into your, uh, you know, I, I don't I don't even have an actual martini glass. This is the closest thing. Uh, a martini glass or, or, or a coupe, as they like to call it. Um, but yeah, no, this is, Oh, look at that. Perfect. Yep. So, what's over here? Let's get these back up on the table just for uh, your visual, visuals, visual, your viewing pleasure, I suppose. And, all right. Anyways, yeah. So, there you have a nice dry martini. It's a nice little green tint to it from the from the vermouth. Actually, I, I yeah, I guess I guess I would call it green. Or it actually does kind of look like um, has like the color of uh, olive olive uh, olive brine. So I don't know, dirty martini. You add olive brine and uh, throw some olive in there. But uh, I don't I don't have that right now. I don't think you really need it either. Uh, this is just this is looking really nice. You know, you could chill your glass too in the fridge. I mean, I didn't. But. Oh, and also you can, you can garnish, you know, throw an olive in there or or a lemon peel, you know, but uh, I'm not going to do that because, you know, I, I'm simple with my with my drinks, you know. Uh, so cheers. Yeah, let's let's give this a taste. Ah, ooh, that is so nice. So refreshing, crisp. Uh, yeah, this is really good. F fantastic. Has a little bit of, um, I guess you could say, it has a little bit of a umami, savory kind of, you know, uh, flavor profile going on. Uh, yeah, this is good. It's great. I could. This is pretty much. I mean, it's just alcohol. It's alcohol. Even bitter, your bitters are it's alcohol. You know, it's, I mean, it's dangerous, man. Like you can. I think. I don't know. I don't really like the. Like I said. Like I said before, I don't really like the taste of gin uh, by itself all that much. Um, but somehow, somehow, when you mix it with the dry vermouth and the orange bitters, it just all comes together. It's really nice. Uh, it's just, it's just completely new. It's like a flavor town, maybe. Like, it just opens up all the, you know, it brings out all the good parts of each, and then it, it hides all the, the bad parts of uh, each individual spirit. So. Actually, surprisingly, I, I gotta say, like, I even think that, you know, a dry martini, it even has, like, without, I didn't put any, you know, no olive brine, not even just an olive as a garnish, like, I think it does have a bit of, uh, olive aftertaste, you know, olive oil, just like a little hint of, uh, olive in there, you know, and I think it's real nice, you know, it's, uh, it somehow manages to be, like, kind of savory and just refreshing at the same time. It just works really well, you know, all these ingredients. Oh, yeah, it's so good. Oh. Fantastic stuff, guys. You gotta try this out for yourself, you know. Uh, sometimes you, you're, gonna go to a, uh, you're gonna go out to a bar. I mean, no, you, you can't do that right now. It's pandemic going on. But, uh, you know, I, I, it's really hard for me to imagine going out to a bar. And getting a drink or getting a martini that you know of this caliber I don't think you're you, it's regular maybe maybe if you went to a super high-end establishment but it's a regular you know everyday kind of bar I don't I don't, I don't think so I don't think so so uh, you know I, I picked this stuff up at my local liquor store and it's not all that price either uh, this was 20 bucks this was just 12 bucks you know the the any store of bitters, like six dollars maybe, or is it nine bucks maybe, six to nine bucks. I don't remember, but you know, you just get these three things, and you can you can be making some phenomenal you know, martinis for a long time. Yeah, especially if you got a friend over, if, group of friends, or whatever. I, I mean, I don't, you know, follow the laws of your country, whatever. Yeah, you know, if you're not supposed to have gathering. But you know, you got some friends over. It's like, yo, we just make them some 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 fire martinis, you know. 
Uh, so cheers to that. And uh, thank you all for watching. <laughs> That's going to be the video, yo. Boy, excuse me. Um, yeah, uh, this is the best damn martini I've ever had. So uh, I hope you guys try this out. You know, Let me know if you do, uh, how you like it. And uh, thank you for watching. <laughs> cheers. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to down this right now. And uh, I will see you all in the next video. All right.